Hi everyone, it's Amber and welcome to my YouTube channel, Amber's Awfully Awesome Art. I apologize beforehand, um, I got a new mic and I am having some technical difficulty with it today. Um, so I am without a mic and if you cannot hear me or if you need some clarification on anything, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment box um, or email me or you can find me on any of my social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and of course, YouTube. Um, but today I will be uh, demonstrating the botanical Dutch pour technique. I learned this technique by taking Rinska Downa's Dutch Bloom course on her Smart Art course platform. And she was in turn inspired by Tina's Inspired Art, um, who created the botanical Dutch pour uh, technique. And she is a, an amazing artist. She's in Oklahoma, which is our neighbor. I'm in Texas and Dallas. Um, so I highly recommend you go check Tina's Inspired Art, her channel out, as well as Rinska Downa. I will have both of them listed down below. Um, each artist uh, uses different uh, materials. I, I believe Tina uses a house paint as the base paint and Rinska uses paint and water. And I use um, the pouring medium to mix my paints that I learned from my uh, really good friend and amazing artist and mentor, Tara Lombardi, from Pieces of Tara Artistry. So I highly recommend you check Tara's channel out as well. I will have it listed down below. And without further ado, let's get started. Today I will be using a 16 inch round canvas uh, from Michaels, it's the Artist Loft brand. I did uh, spray some water to stretch it out so that my um, base paint doesn't pool in the center. Also if I decide to resin this piece, the resin won't pool in the center either. So my base paint is Amsterdam Titanium White, there's my consistency right there, it's leaving a one second trace. And my first layer is uh, Amsterdam Olive Green Light followed by Amsterdam Ultramarine Violet and this will be followed by Amsterdam Kaput Mortem Violet and then Amsterdam Blue Violet and the last layer is Amsterdam Gold. You always put your metallic on the top in this technique and it's important that your paint is a little thicker than a regular Dutch pour. Um, so I didn't add any water. My paints are mixed with uh, five parts of the pouring medium I mentioned, which is 50% GAC 800 and 50% Floetrol. I make a big batch of that, so I will mix uh, around 20 ounces of GAC 800 and 20 ounces of Floetrol. And, um, and with my paints, I will mix five ounces of this pouring medium to one ounce paint. And I don't add any water. So you see it's a little thicker. Um, and I'm popping some bubbles here and I know Rinska uses water um, to mix her paints and she explains that beautifully in her Dutch Bloom course. So that's why I highly recommend that um, y'all sign up because if you want to mix your paints with water, she has it explained very nicely in the course. Um, here I am just adding a little bit more uh, base paint. I thought I didn't have um, a lot on the edges because I want uh, the paint to flow once I blow it out. And the blow dryer that I um, use is the Kiss Pro blow dryer. I got it from Walmart. Uh, Tara Lombardi from Pieces of Tara Artistry suggested this. It has a very nice low cool setting on there. Uh, so I highly recommend that. I'll link it down below. And I will make sort of a U shape um, with my uh, first layer. It's not in the center as I wanted, so I tilted a little bit. And I'm making a little branch um, so that I, I have um, another uh, petal or leaf as, as you want to call it or whatever you want to call it. Um, and now I will just layer my next layer, which is ultramarine violet, and that will be followed by the Kaput uh, Mortem, and then the Amsterdam Blue Violet, and then the last layer will be the Amsterdam Gold. Um, and all of my paints are mixed with the five ounces of the pouring medium that I mentioned earlier, along with one ounce of paint. And um, I 
really got the consistency right by just mixing the paints with water um, due to the beautiful explanation that Rinska has on the course. But I found myself using up a lot of paint. And Amsterdam paints are not readily available in Dallas. Uh, it's not like you can walk into a Michaels or a uh, Jerry's Artorama or any art store and they're sitting on the shelf. You actually have to order them. And I order my Amsterdam paints from rinskadowna.com. Her website is amazing. She has all of the Amsterdam colors and in every size bottle you can imagine. Um, I get the 500 ml bottles um, and there I'm showing how I will blow out. I will blow the little branch out in the center and then I'll go down the bottom and then I'll go in a zigzag motion uh, with the U-shaped branch right there. Um, so yeah, all my paints are from rinskadowna.com. She has amazing sales and she has other products on there as well. So I highly recommend her website. And um, another website that I use is fluid-art.co. They're also a great company. So these are the two places where I will get my Amsterdam paint. And of course I get my TLP pigments from fluid-art.co. So I'll have both linked down below. And um, now I will um, make some lines uh, or leaves with my finger. Um, I know Tina uses uh, the back of a paintbrush, um, but I found that I didn't get a lot of definition with that. So I'm using Rinska's technique where she uses her finger and you gently push the white base paint towards the center to make your, um, your center. And I still need a lot of practice with this because I end up just creating the leaves from like anywhere so um i definitely need practice on that to create some symmetry in the piece um so that's what i'm doing right now you gently push the base paint you don't even touch the canvas so make sure you gently drag that base paint and that you're not touching your canvas when you're doing this and see if you had thin paint it would have just um pushed right back but the fact that I have this thicker paints, um, they are beautifully making these lines. Um, so that's what I will continue to do. Uh, I liked the colors um, that I got from this. I can see all of them. I see how, how the green and the purples and the magentas blended, of course, and the gold. I felt like I used a lot of gold because my cap was full of some dried paint so I had to unscrew the cap and use the bottle but yeah I will continue to create um, these lines to make uh, leaves and um, it's very relaxing uh, when you do this um, so that's my favorite part and as I mentioned um, go check out Rinska Downa's course at smartartcourses.com you can um, use my coupon code amber10 and save ten dollars off the course you will have access for life um, which is great and you will also have access to their facebook group they also have another great amazing course which is the a to z acrylic pouring course with rinska olga sobi um, and molly leach so they all go over um, their pouring mediums and uh, different techniques that they use here I am just popping um, some bubbles or uh, just wanting to see what cells will come. And I did get some cool cells, some small cells. Uh, but yeah, uh, check out both of those courses. Like I said, you'll have access for life, which is good because sometimes I do go back and uh, refresh my memory if I need to. And the Facebook groups are amazing as well. Um, what I also like about the courses is that they go in depth about the color harmony, the color wheel, the opacities of the paint and the densities, um, and paint consistency. Uh, opacities and densities do matter, uh, so don't think otherwise um, because you will have a much better outcome 
if you understand opacities and densities and how to layer your paint as well as the color harmony part. So yeah, I will have uh, the link down below. And here I am just blowing some of the petals out just to get more um, symmetry and more like flow. And the next clip will be uh, the close-up of the wet result. Um, and that will be coming up and I will let y'all enjoy the rest of this process. Well, here are the wet results. Uh, it turned out pretty good. I wish the center was a little better. And then here's something dragged over, um, which I mean, it, it looked fine. But yeah, I tweaked it a little bit more. Um, also, you can use any uh, paint like Liquitex um, or Deco Art, but just make sure that you add 20% uh, pouring medium to those paints because they are student grade and they don't have a lot of binders like Amsterdam or Goldenwood. And here's another angle. I will have Olga, Tina, and Rinska's channel linked down below as well as Molly's. And uh, here uh, are the dried results. I apologize the lighting um, this was the end of the day uh, so it's not the best of lighting and here's another angle um, I do like the colors I do like how they dried um, but yeah there you have it and as I mentioned before I will have the course links listed down below as well as my coupon code and here is another angle. Just look at the vibrancy of um, the blue violet and the kaput mortem and the olive green light as well as the ultramarine violet and the gold. And um, here are some other angles. I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. Um, so yeah, there you have it. Well, everyone, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I can't wait till the next one. And I'll give you a little preview. I will be using Mixed Media Girl Ready to Pour Paint. Um, she has some amazing products. She also has a YouTube channel, uh, which I will link down below, as well as her website. So don't forget to check her out. And also, don't forget to sign up for the Smart Art Courses. Um, and save $10 by using my coupon code AMBER10. And if you would like to learn more about the Shelly Art Bloom technique, I will have her uh, course link listed down below as well. And along with my uh, coupon code where you can save 15% on the course. All courses have access for life um, and you will also have access to their uh, members Facebook group. So highly recommend them. They've made a huge difference in my fluid art journey and they have helped my art grow tremendously. Um, and as always, I appreciate anyone who likes, subscribes and shares to my channel. Um, and you can always leave a comment down below in the comment box. I appreciate it. Any feedback. Um, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Um, until next time, guys, stay safe and stay awfully awesome, guys.